Hello everyone, I'm Robin Campos and this is towards automating the construction of augmented reality interfaces for information systems. This is the contents of this presentation. We start with a little introduction. According to recent studies, a large percentage of the world population owns a smartphone. The capabilities of these devices are rapidly increasing in terms of computing power and the variety of components like camera, GPS, accelerometer, LiDAR, and more. This has triggered the possibility of novel ways of interaction, for example, based on augmented reality. Augmented reality allows to display in virtual information close to the object of interest. For example, uh, interest in museums, transportation, smart factories. The problem is building a major reality application requires deep expertise and considerable effort. We introduce you Altor, an app to build a domain meta model using augmented reality. In this case, we are showing you an interface for information systems. There is no need for coding and all information is managed with API REST. The image you see is a screenshot of the app using the inventory interface. The app identifies the device with QR or barcodes. Then it brings the information and displays the augmented reality info over the real objects. This is an overview of your approach. It is model based as the designer uses models to describe the domain, the domain concepts, every aspect of the augmented reality interface and the interaction with the existing information system. We detail the different steps of the basis of the running example. Define the domain. The designer needs to describe the domain by means of the model. The figure above solves the meta model from the inventory system, which contains printers, CPU, and monitors. Next is define the augmented reality syntax of the elements in the meta model to tell the app how we will represent the data in augmented reality. Next step is describe the API like the figure below. This model, an API description, has a name, a protocol, a base URL, optionally an authentication mechanism, and result pods with input and output JSON parameters. Then we define the path, one each element type, with three commands, get, post, and delete. To define the external interaction, we use the API mapping meta model that uses the input data for the call, the output the slot where the augmented reality object will store, at the triggers when an action occurs, for example, when we create an object to delete it or modify it. For last, we deploy a meta reality interface to a server and using it with your tool, in this case, Altor. Click on the button new model to create it, and it will show a list of palettes, and in this case, we are using inventory. Once loaded, click on the button below to open the camera. Remember the previous message warning us about classes that only use codes. You can scan QR codes and barcodes by pressing the QR button and pointing to the code. When it loads, it will get a message with different options. In this case, it tells us that the code has external information. We can choose to load information with the yes button or use the default information with the yes without data button. We can also ignore the code completely or cancel any action with the not now button. Using yes button, it shows external information. Going back to the previous case, if the external data has a reference to another object in a code, we can scan that code using these external values. Once scanned, the application will detect the reference and add it, displaying a line linking both devices. To edit the attributes of any object, click on the Edit button and select the desired class, the table. A table will display it with all attributes or reference of the object, when in this case are already loaded. To edit, 
click of any cell and use the keyboard to enter its new value. We can save the data, cancel or even delete them. In this case we are going to save them by pressing the OK button. Because it's an external information, the changes are posted in the API where the information comes from. But it's not the only information that is stored in API. All your model and augmented reality information can be saved locally in the save button. We can have name and then load it later. To load save data, click on the load model button and select the model that you want to load. Same as creating it, wait a few seconds, click the button below and it will open the camera. In this case we have a new pattern, hit pattern. It shows us a screenshot of the zone that we saved. Point out to that zone on all the information, including the previous world origin, will display right back where we left off. We have presented the fifth step towards an approach to automate the construction of a major reality based interface for information systems. The approach is based on model driven and software language engineering principle. A major reality interface by means of models reduce the need for deep expertise in a major reality technologies with no need for coding. The future world of this app is to integrate other sensor from the mobile, in this case with Bluetooth, used to duplicate codes, dynamic augmented reality objects, objects with no graphical presentation, and the deploy of the smart glasses. This is all the reference that you see if you need more information about this new app, Alter. Thank you very much.